Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, family, depending with where you are watching me from. My name is Baby Caro, and you are watching me from East Africa, Kenya. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly do so for more and more amazing video. Yeah, today I'm so happy, and today actually is day. Uh, day it was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, today is day three of the construction, and I'm so so happy and yeah i'm happy for the progress actually there's some nice progress on going on the other side of the house and you can see the cement you remember yesterday it was here so right now they are still using it yeah so it's building actually on the other side of the house soon they'll be almost approaching the porch veranda yeah so there's some nice work on going on the other side i'm so so happy and i can't hide it anymore and right now uh we are going to the kitchen garden as usual um let's go to pick our onions and today um actually um we want to start with that uh, really we are going to start with uh, frying the vegetables the next we'll prepare our ugali for them Wow, the kills they are standing so well. Let me show you. And mind you, right now there is some hot sun. So when the sun is too hot, you expect them to, you know, be like this. Like they become weak. They kind of, when the sun is hot, you find the veggies, they have shrunk. But when it's in the morning or maybe in the evening, you just find the leaves standing. Uh, standing like uh, you know it becomes so nice so right now it's imagine it's sunny but you can see the leaf they are standing yeah so they are coming out so well and um today we'll need also to water them i didn't rain heavily yesterday so today we're going to water them so that they cannot you know wither up let me show you our popo actually it's in the middle of the kales and it's coming up so well the other one this one is growing actually much faster than the other one on the other side yeah so it's kind of this one will grow taller than the other one like it will be taller than it so quickly yeah so we are here at the kitchen garden and wow let me show you the okra they have really multiplied actually for us uh, we've uh, we've never tried like planting the okra. So this one was the very first one. Let me show you how it has produced It has so many Okra in it And they usually hear this one is like medicine. Yeah Maybe you can know the comment section the okra Yeah, they have gone so big and for me. I usually prefer to use it uh, when you are cooking the how is this veggies called uh when also you cook the pumpkin leaves and there's this uh we call it mrenda i don't know in english but uh, it's kind of slippery the veggies so they match well with the okra when you cook them together wow it's something else so nice i wish we could have the veggies then we'll do a trial so soon so we'll try the okra and um I look for that veggies then uh, we mix them together then we see how the final result will come yeah so we are here at the kitchen garden and uh, actually the onions honestly is it's really helping a lot it's saving you from buying the onions because right now when you go to the market one onion um, okay some people most of the people you get them selling at even 20 Kenyan shilling. Yeah, that's a lot of money here. And you get it's a small onion. And mostly you get it's the round onions. Not this one. Also this one they are, but they are still expensive. But the round onion, they are kind of expensive than this one. So when you go to the market, um, you one onion, the round one, they sell you at 20 Maybe the smaller one, the tiny one, it's at 10 Kenyan shilling. I don't know in US dollar, maybe it's 0 0.1. I'm not sure. Yeah, but um, I must say, the, one, the way we've planted it like this, it's helping so much. 
so let's take the onions and uh, we are going to prepare something delicious and you'll see what i'm going to prepare uh, but we'll choose to prefer maybe we'll start with the ugali then later the veggies yeah so let me pick more veggies because we are going actually to fry two meals so we need plenty of onions Also, I think uh, the kales soon it will help because right now actually the kales they have disappeared even in the marketplace uh, the kales they are so expensive you know I wish this one could be big the way right now we have you know mussels like uh, right now like we have a big family if it could be here trust me it could have really saved a lot this one here yeah it could have saved when uh, we are cooking for the mussels. Yeah. But let's give it one week. I know it will be good. It's so many. It's in plenty. It could have saved a lot because this one actually there are so few. You can't cook for the many mussels. But this one if it could be big like uh, the other one there. We could have used it yeah but let's give it time it will still grow and soon we'll also be preparing from it and at least it will save the coins of going to the market you know the cost yeah so here we go to the kitchen garden let's go you see what i'm going to prepare this thing has caught my leg and it can fall you down it's a piece of wire so let's go to the kitchen Welcome! I'm from the portion wheel and uh, we we managed to 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 grind this is like a, we call it a one gorogoro actually it's like a, I could show you in terms of the size of a jug that we don't have so uh, this is like a, when you go to grind it This is the lowest, the lowest amount which you can grind. Like it's one. I'll show you the bucket when I see it, which they used to measure. So I'm going to pour it here where there's a, the other one which uh, was left. This one couldn't be enough to prepare ugali, but with this one here, it will be enough. So I'll pour it inside here. So with the carrier bag, uh, when you go to grind with it, you have to be careful so that, you know, it cannot tear and all the flour go down. So this one is okay. So we'll wait for our water to boil. So actually it's ready. You can see there's some bubbles. So right now we are going to prepare our ugali. And we have some good news. Um, we have some visitors around. Yeah, so let me cook the ugali so quickly, then uh, we'll go to the other side, you see who they are. Yeah, so actually I want to prepare the lunch so quickly, and um, the onions are here, we have our tomatoes here, and uh, no, let's first start by cooking the ugali, then later we'll fry the other meals here. So when you want it to boil quickly, uh, some people usually do like this. So uh, I can take a cup like this, then you put some hot water aside, just a little. Then you can choose to do like this so that it can boil quickly, because right now it's ready. You do like this. So in two minutes, we'll start to fry it. I told you, even it doesn't take one minute, some seconds, and it has boiled. So actually, okay. yeah, like this. So. I'm going to use, uh, for me, 
actually there is usually two sticks so one is tall another one this one is short i prefer this one because it's much easier to handle it so we are going to mix it like this then you are going to leave it for some time so that it can cook so these are water and uh, I've put it so that we can wash the sardines let me show you how ugali actually it's so hot I haven't closed it yet it's so hot so I'm going to close it with this sufuria. So yeah, the spray is so hot. So like this, it will remain hot until we finish cooking. Yeah. So meanwhile, uh, let's wait for our water to boil. And today we are going to use again our pan, non-sticky pan. It does a lot of wonders. Like the food doesn't stick on the pan. I think that's why it's called non-sticky. It's not like the other pans. The other pans, uh, when you use them, they stick. But this one, it's so nice. I love it. Like, I think even if you don't use oil, they haven't tried it. But I'm just guessing. It's kind of, even if you don't use oil, I think uh, it doesn't stick on the meal. Yeah. So we are going again to cook. Um, we are going to cook some meal here. And... Um, let's wait for our water to boil yeah we have our kills here on the other side we have our onions here inside clean water and these are tomatoes so you know, i think we'll cut our ingredients our water is hot we are going to wash our sardines it's so hot so with me i usually do like this it's so hot Wow. Let me bring a spoon because it's so hot. Let me use this one here. Yeah, like this. I think this one is better. Oh, someone at the comment section asked me if the fish is bitter. Yeah, for me, I know like the sardines are uh, when you don't wash them, like uh, when you just cook it like this, even the taste, it won't be that nice, but it will have some bitterness. Yeah, I don't know how to call that taste, but to, there's that taste of bitterness. But when you wash it with warm water, ah. Uh, even the tester, you find it, it's so good. Yeah, so uh, I'll pour them here. So let me rinse with this. Like this. So you know you have to rinse the whole water. Because you're going to put them in cooking oil. Cooking oil, actually it's too hot. So I don't know if it's a, it has already, let me see. Oh yeah, it's ready. So, if you are not careful, these uh, things can splash on your face and burn you, it's so hot. Yeah, so I, I'm going to sit on this small chair and put this one here. So I want to dry fry them until they turn golden brown. Then we have our ingredients. Actually, I've already cut them into pieces. And later we fry our veggies. Wow, so too bad our vista is leaving. And our meal actually is almost ready. I knew it was, they could eat our lunch, but Unfortunately, they are going to so, so we can finish preparing. 
And here we have Kemi. I'm here guys. Hi, hi, <laughs> hi guys. Welcome back to Bibi Karo's YouTube channel. Yeah. And today she's assisting in cooking some yanni, yummy, yummy sardines. You, what do you say? Yanni? My, my tongue slipped. <laughs> <laughs> yes, welcome guys. My yeah. name is Diana Kemi. Yeah. And uh, you know, at least I'm very happy when Baby Karo is always around. Yeah. She's always very supportive. Wow. You know, that kind of sister which many people really desire to have. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm really happy. Mm -hmm. She's cooking right now so that at least the Masons can eat and then they continue with their work, guys. Yeah. yeah. So stay tuned. Watch the video till the end and enjoy. Enjoy. Big love. Big love. Yeah. Actually, it's almost ready. The organ is ready. Yes, ma'am. You can hear. Oh, I was told not to say you can hear. You can smell. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I can smell. It's well cooked. You might want to know if it's well cooked. There's no the sticky ugali on the sides. Yeah. It's just clean like this. Yeah. And sure. when you put it like this, mm -hmm. it comes all of it like this. So this one is well cooked. Well cooked. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna close it because this one is not a hot pot. Yeah. So that it doesn't lose away. The heat so that yeah. it don't uh, be cold. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But they, it usually keeps the food like a hot pot. Yeah. Yeah, when it remains close like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I like about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. yeah. So, our sardines is uh, ready. So, I want you to cook on low heat to so reduce the heat so that they cannot get burnt. Wow, I was yearning our visitor could also test our meal here, but there is next time, yeah? There is next time. They just left. Yeah, they didn't stay for long, but uh, uh, he has said he's coming back. So if he'll come back, he'll eat the meal. He'll remain it. We'll serve also for them. So if they come back, well and good, they'll also test it. Yeah, so let's wait for our meal to cook and it's almost ready. Yeah, you can see right now the color has changed. It has really changed. And um, uh, as usual, so I want to remove uh, some small sardines. There is one who doesn't take the sardines, which has the tomatoes. Then I'll fry the rest with the tomatoes. So I'm not putting all these tomato because there are many. So I'll divide half for the kales and half for the sardines. Oh my, it looks so... I can feel the sweet smell. Let me try to eliminate, I can hear. Actually, uh, you cannot hear the smell. But you know when you talk, you confuse and say, you can hear it. Yeah. But uh, we are trying to learn sl slowly, slowly. So soon we'll be saying it the correct way. Yeah, so it's almost ready. Hmm, can smell, can... So let me put the tomatoes. It's right here. So these some tomatoes, so I want to cover them up like this. So that the tomatoes can cook. So they are in between so let me give it like um four minutes four to five then i'll get to turn them so right now i'll leave it like this yeah so we have to put the kale so these are the tomatoes boiling So we're leaving it to cook on low heat, then we'll later turn them, then our meal will be ready, then we'll be serving for them. Actually, I'm trying to hurry up so that they can eat, you know, on time. I don't like when they eat so late. Yeah, but they eat right on time, even you feel good and you feel energetic even to you not know, continue doing the work. So let's wait for it to cook. 
then I'll later turn them and it will be ready. So I'm going to bring our mat. Today we are serving on the mat. I just put it down and put the plates on the mat and I serve the meal. So meanwhile, let me continue preparing the... Yeah, I think I'll use the outside part here. So I've arranged our meal. So these are our sardines and um, the one who is not eating this is here so we have our place well arranged to the farthest end actually the sun right now you can see the other side i know right now kemi is feeling it on the other side how is the sun yeah the sun is too much <laughs> yeah it's too hot it's too much but i'm almost done yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm just finishing up you're only remaining with the sufurias the last part yeah yeah but i know you felt it mm -hmm. yeah but uh, when you finish, you can come and relax here on this mat. Yeah. Yeah, because right now the shade is reaching here. So by the time it reaches in the afternoon, it will be reaching somewhere there. Yeah. In the morning, it starts with here. So the shadow keep on moving until now in the evening. It covers the whole area. Yeah. Yeah, so let me serve the meal. So we have our kale or the colored greens. So let me start with this one. I have to put equal so that no one can miss the meal. Actually, it's so comfortable to serve here on the mat. So this plate is the one which I used to cut the ugali. Let me open it. This one here. sardines here I'm trying to serve equal on every plate let me stand so that I can reach this plate so this one is mine and for Kemi so I'm not putting equal as the other plate know them they are from construction so they need like a lot of food so these are final results so we are going to cut for them in ugali here we have ugali here so i'm going to cut it i have this sharp blade Up to the other two plates here, which are remaining. Yeah, so like this. So let me call them to come pick their meals before the flies start getting here so let me call them so actually our visitor came back and i'm so happy uh, actually right now the masons they have already cooked 
eat and um, they saying the meal was so yummy and we hope again tomorrow to try our best cook some best meal for them and so I'll give you a chance to see our vista but before that actually um, we have, I'm preparing here something nice for him yeah this is the yeah actually um, I was to remain the food but unfortunately it's over so uh, we've prepared the tea so this is a uh, white tea milk tea I'm going to add some tea leaves I've already put some some sugar just a little yeah like that I'm going to the back side of the garden to pick some lemongrass. Yeah, because it usually have some nice taste on the meal. So let me go. So right now he is on the phone call. So when he's through, you'll get to see him. Yeah, so he's on the phone call on the other side. So when he depletes, you'll get to see him. So let me pick the lemongrass. For me, I usually love it because it usually has some nice scent. I gave it some time to regrow. Right now, at least you can see some leaf has popped out. Hmm. And uh, people say this one, uh, when you have a flu, it usually heals. I remember my, the time when baby Ariana was sick. Most of the people are recommending me to... You know, use the lemon grass. Uh, it has a nice scent, and I was told it helps in flus. That's why we also replanted on the other side, on the downer side, because it also chases the snakes away. So that's the beauty of the lemon grass. Wow, it almost smells like a. Hmm. There's this uh, thing we called kahawa. Uh, how is it called? Uh, in traditionally, uh, when we make the soya, uh, we take the, we fry the maize flour. You fry it, you fry it, you fry the maize flour inside a cooking pot or inside a sufria. You fry the maize flour until it turns brown. Ah, so some people usually also use that one as you know, uh, tea leaves. So you can use that one naturally uh, if you don't have the tea leaves. And also, you can use to fry the soya, soya from the shamba, then you grind it naturally. Uh, one day I'll show you the process. So right now, I'm just taking the lemongrass. Yeah, we have our visitor here. Yeah, Hello. Yeah. This is Royal Kim mm -hmm. here. And the Kim is catch the boy. Mm -hmm. I was here earlier. Mm -hmm. I went and then I came back again. Actually, I thought you are not coming uh, back. I came actually to prove you wrong because you were thinking I won't come back. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is Kim, yeah. the cabin builder. Mm -hmm. And then I came to visit my sisters. Yeah. We catch up. Wow. We have talked a lot mm -hmm. off camera. Mm -hmm. A lot of things about life, about yeah. our journey so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God is good. Yeah. Yeah. How is everything? Everything is cool. Mm -hmm. I thank God for everything. Mm -hmm. It's not easy, baby Carol. Yeah. But God is faithful. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Feel welcome here at thank African you. Serenity Garden. And now I'm waiting you for feel tea. Some cool breeze. Yeah, I mean, uh, trust me, mm -hmm. I love my place, but this place is something else. Ah. I mean, I wish you guys could come and. Maybe relax for a while and feel it. Wow. Especially in the evenings, I know it's going to be the best, the breeze and everything. Yeah, yeah. like the sun usually disappear, then it brings the coldness, then you can see the trees swaying around. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. You stay till the evening? In the evening, yeah. I, the tea will make me stay because yeah. I see there is tea coming there here. There is tea. Yeah, I came to stay. Mm, wow. If you see Kim go and come back, Welcome. then he means it, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Welcome. Okay, let me see it so that it cannot pour. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah. You know, one mistake, uh, the tea is usually funny. When you leave it for some time, you see it, it uh, it's pouring down. So, so this is lemongrass. Just going to dip it inside. Yeah, so we give it some time to boil and uh, uh, we bought some bread here. So I'm going to arrange them on a plate here. So the plates, they are actually outside on the uh, getangura. That is a utensil switch hold. 
when you wash the utensils you put them there to dry so let me bring one of the plate so that I can arrange them inside There's no big one. Let me just take this one here. Yeah. So there's this plant here. So I'm going to cut and I'm going to pour them inside here. Yeah. We have our bread here. Welcome. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> no, let me bring a, a stool so that you can put on. Let me take this chair. This is your uncle. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, bread was a big deal. Oh, yeah. When you see it, you see it as hot when, cake. When you see now, the bread has been brought on the table. Mm -hmm. Hey! And you're like, when will you people. I mean. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it used to be a big brand. Yeah. We're just finding it a normal thing because we are working and we are making money. But yeah. when you're not working, bread is a big deal. It's like ah, a gold. Jesus. Yeah. Can I continue? Yeah, you can continue. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so right now, I'd wish to end my videos. Thank you so much for watching this video till this point. And may God bless you. So, uh, Vista will be enjoying the meal. And uh, um, there's construction going. As I told you on the inside part, yeah. some plastering, nice plastering is being done by expert. Actually, it has been plastered so well. I think you watched on Kevin's video, actually, the yesterday's video. Yeah, uh, she showed some of the progress and uh, it's so smooth, like the work is on. It's on point. Yeah, so uh, until tomorrow, so um, right now, uh, uh, we want to do some work there, we want to wash the utensils and everything so that we can also call it a day and also meanwhile I'll water the crops, yeah these are kills so I'll water them before they, before they weed us here yeah, so this is kale so I'll be watering them and tomorrow uh, stay tuned uh, we have some good things tomorrow yeah so if you haven't subscribed at baby caro kindly do so and let me know where you are watching me from for me you're watching me from east africa kenya subscribe for more village vlogs and it's kind of it will rain today because the weather has actually changed see on the other side yeah so it will rain today right now it's at um it's at 3 p.m yeah so i think uh, anytime it will rain yeah and uh, see our plants here they're so nice wow so till next time i love you and bye bye mm -hmm.